Happy last week of class, Wolf Pack. This is meteorologist James Scott with today's headlines. So the cool and wet weather we've seen over the past couple days, unfortunately, will continue today as we'll see temperatures in the low 70s and rain throughout the day by this evening. We should see those storms start to move out of our area. And when it does, the warmth will return. It will return strong as we'll see temperatures in the 80s and possibly even 90s this coming weekend. And while the warm and dry temperatures will be welcome, we definitely needed the rain as we were about three and a half to four inches below normal for the year through Sunday. Now this is not counting uh, yesterday's rain or today's rain. So I'm thinking by the time today is all said and done, we'll be about an inch to an inch and a half below normal. And looking at our class by class schedule, we'll be seeing pretty constant rain uh, in the morning through the noon hour. Uh, we'll warm up to 67 degrees by noon by 3 p.m. will reach 70 degrees, and I'm thinking these storms are going to start becoming more and more scattered, which is going to come in handy, especially as you're moving from class to class. Now, looking at our service map for today, you see that low pressure system over the North and South Carolina border, and that's going to be bringing some pretty heavy rain once again, especially to our south, um, and in the Wilmington area especially, we're going to be seeing two to three inches of rain today alone which will bring our grand total for this storm up to about five inches. So if you live in the Wilmington area or are planning to visit there from campus, definitely if there are any water, if there's any water over the roadways, turn around and don't drown. Now looking at our radar for today, that low pressure system is definitely doing its work here. We see that moisture moving up from the south. And by the time uh, we get to Wednesday, that low pressure system will start to move out of the area. Can't rule out an occasional shower here or there, especially to the north and east of campus. Now today we'll be warming up to 71 degrees, staying cool as it, as it has been over the past couple of days, winds from the west at 8 miles an hour. And as, and as that low pressure system starts to move out of our area, it's going to dip down to 56 degrees, that rain once again becoming more and more scattered, and it should cease to exist by the midnight hour, uh, winds staying light and variable. And when that storm system moves out, we'll be warming back up to 81 degrees, staying mostly clear. Once again, can't rule out an occasional shower here or there, winds from the north northeast at 10 miles an hour. And as we look at our week ahead, we'll be in the 80s after today, lows reaching 60, 60 degrees. And on Friday, our last day of class, uh, perfect time to see the John Bellion concert today, or on Friday, reaching a high of 87, low of 64. And on Saturday, we could see a peak of 90 degrees. Uh, definitely possible. Could be a great weekend to go to the beach as we at NCSU Weather here uh, did this past weekend. I definitely had the sunburns. Uh, to prove it as those uh, backpack straps were definitely giving me uh, some uncomfortable feeling in my shoulders for sure. But we definitely had a great time out there, folks, at Fort Fisher. And it seems like it's going to be another great weekend coming up. From everyone here at NCSU Weather, we hope you have a great last week of class. I've been James Scott.